has been over five years since I started, and Argentina felt like a world away. Nice. Where you headed? I'm going to Argentina. Well, it's downhill for a while. It took two years to ride across Canada, USA, Mexico, and Central America, and paddle across to South America. Then there was the rain of Colombia, the volcanoes of Ecuador, the high Andes in Peru, and the salt and the sand of Bolivia. I had few months through the remote but beautiful Puna de Atacama in northern Argentina, and then over the Andes to Santiago. I followed the Greater Patagonia Trail south through the lunar landscapes and pack rafted through some mountain lakes until winter came. Sí, pero tú vas a llevar el gato? No. That's when the dogs started following me. No, pero este lo podía dejar yo aquí el blanquito. Porque está harto flaco. Come, come. But the black dog did not want to be adopted. So last night, I think was the most miserable camping ever. Um, so everything's kind of wet. I busted out the emergency blanket just to keep things drier. Um, we went down the mountain with all fingers, toes and paws intact but there had to be a better way south. I rested with the dogs and waited just for the right weather window to cross into Argentina in hopes of better weather. I heard there was the old Patagonia Express where the steam train still roams the windy pampa.
Uh, there is a bell that I can ring, I think. Because otherwise, I mean, I can probably swim it, but that's not gonna be pretty, so... But then there was a bell and someone came and took me over and there was camping here but when I asked to camp they said no you should stay inside so they gave me this little cabin shack place that is actually dry um, there is a cat which I'm not sure she, if she's supposed to be inside or not um, but here's the the setup I mean it's still very rainy so that's a bit of a problem um but i didn't get too wet today i mean if i'm out now probably would be pretty wet uh so i'm kind of drying out some stuff there's this amazing stove that works very very well uh so this would be very warm very nice people and i'm really not sure how the trail is going to go because i think there's a lot of snow still on the trail is what happens to your bike when you have a horse. <laughs> Buenos días. Tiene nombres los caballitos? Esta es la muñeca. Muñeca. Muñeca como el Ah, hola muñeca. Los perros. Hola. Oh, but you're so wet. I don't want to touch you. And this guy he tried to bite me. So I was supposed to go up there, um, but unfortunately the, the men that I stayed here with, with the camping, they actually let me stay inside. Uh, they said, no, you can't go, it's too dangerous, um, you're gonna get hurt. And I was gonna sneak out in the morning, but I felt really bad lying to them. So I'm just gonna head back and, you know, take more roads from here on now. And, uh, yeah.
And also tonight, it's kind of a special night. Um, I'm getting a dinner treat by Tina and Joe Stiller from USA. And they're like, yeah, we need to send you something. And they're the guys who um, who gave me the bariac and the harness. And I'm thinking, man, it's gonna be some special piece of gear. And they had this note and they're like, we're gonna take you out to dinner. And this is our premium chunk white chicken, fully cooked. And um, Idaho four cheese instant mashed potatoes which are a work of art I think I'll like it here and these clouds they look okay and it really looks like they're very thin clouds so they might like evaporate so we have nice stars or sunshine tomorrow and here we go we're in Argentina no we're in Patagonia and we're going south <laughs>
Hola, me llamo Johan. ¿Cómo anda, señor? Bien, bien, pero dura la carretera, el oh. camino. Ah, sí. Camino nomás. ¿Vienes de, cómo se llama? Janín. No, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Ah, de Janín. Sí. Ah. Pero por acá puedo salir a San Martín de los Andes sí, y obviamente. hay puentes y todo. Sí, tiene que pasar por el puesto mío, dale nomás. Ah, Usted va bien por este camino. ¿Y ya está bien contigo? Sí, sí. Ah, bien. Sí. ¿Y cómo pego la vuelta por la estancia o...? Sí, bueno, yo pasó la salida por allá donde no hay puente. Ah, sí, sí. Pero me dice un puestero que más por arriba hay un puente. Sí. Pues ya cruzó, después por acá. Ah, sí, Pero sí, como sí. tres días. Oh. Pero eso es muy bueno que te agarre caliente. Sí, no, sí. Esta ¿De sí. oveja? Sí, chivo. Chivo, ah. Chivo. Ah, mira, y... ¿Y piensa llegar de vuelta a Junín? Bueno, ¿conoces? Hay un paso Córdoba. Ahí estoy yo. ¿Se puede pasar? Sí, sí. ¿No hay mucha nieve? No, 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 no. Ah, sí, y, dale. ¿y está bien? ¿No está cerrado no, o algo? Nada, nada. Ah, ok, ok. Lo único que tiene es arroyo ahí, pero está medio abajo, así que ahí tiene que caer el arroyo para pasar. Se me Y sí, qué bueno. Y el caballo fuerte también. Sí, sí. Sí, sí, voy para a ver mi compañero que están por allá. Although following the mountains has more or less defined my journey so far, riding along the foothills was also amazing. Just far enough to be out of reach of the rain and snow, but close enough to appreciate them. In the vast Argentinian pre-Cordillera, somewhere hidden between the trees and always looking for the sunrise. Levantate. Y mira la montaña De donde viene El viento, el sol y el agua Tú que manejas el curso de los ríos Tú que sembraste el vuelo de tu alma levántate y mírate las manos para crecer estrecha la tu hermano juntos iremos unidos en la sangre el tiempo que puede ser mañana líbranos de aquel que nos domina en la miseria tráenos tu reino de justicia e igualdad sopla como el viento la flor de la quebrada limpia como el fuego el cañón de mi fusil hágase por fin tu voluntad aquí en la tierra danos tu fuerza y tu valor al combatir sopla como el viento la flor de la quebrada limpia como el fuego el cañón de mi fusil Levántate y mírate las manos para crecer, estrecha la tu hermano. Juntos iremos unidos en la sangre, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Amén.
I did 20 kilometers on the route of 40, but riding that with a fat bike and with lots of traffic just wasn't too much fun. I was off again toward the countryside and the Patagonia beer trail, but I wondered how things would be in the winter. I think that's a pretty solid um, no for for the rear hub. So that's the story with the rear with the rear hub is completely spinning whichever direction it wants to. Um, so I'm just gonna zip tie metal wire it to the wheel and that should work uh, at least for now for a little bit there's a helicopter flying over up there
So good morning. Uh, the good news is that the road is frozen, no more mud. The bad news is my bike is also kind of frozen. So it might be tough to get moving or sliding. <laughs> oh. But we have one 1480 meter pass, which could have some snow, but hopefully it's more solid. And then another one. And then it's all downhill, kind of. Um, so we can see about getting the drive train going again at some point. Uh, but for now, I think the easiest is to have the chain up here. Or maybe that's also not helping. The chain here, so it doesn't break with all the mud. So here we go, Patagonia beer route in winter. It's more like Patagonia mud and snow route, but uh, <laughs> haven't had beer yet. El viento es del sudeste a 13 kilómetros en la hora y nos espera nevadas para el resto de la jornada. A prepararse, a guardarse, nevaditas entonces y temperaturas en Bariloche que va temperatura, en, en verdad que va a estar ahí cerquita al grado. Al parecer nos quedamos ahí en un gradito y como te decía, nevaditas para lo que resta de la jornada.
take my chances on these winding roads I'll go wherever the wild wind blows Cause if I'm gonna die, I wanna die an old ghost And I don't save my soul I'll take my chances on these winding roads I'll go wherever the wild wind blows Cause if I'm gonna die, I wanna die an old Buen día. El pueblito ya está cerca. So we're nearing the city, but I think the main problem is how I'm, what I'm gonna do about the drivetrain, uh, in particular the um, driver, I guess, is the name. Because there's no... I don't know if I can fix it, but I can try to wash it if there is a pressure wash somewhere. And then I can uh, continue riding it. And worst case, I'm just gonna bust out the zip ties, or buy some zip ties actually, and zip tie the heck out of it. Got a whole bunch of zip ties. I don't, don't take my zip ties. After all the rain and snow, I was finally on the old train tracks. The narrow gauge line stretches from engineer Jakubasi to Eskel. It was flat and a little overgrown, but with the current freewheel problem, the train tracks were the least of my worries. The distant dream of Ushuaia now seemed too far away, but for now, I'm sure I can make it to Eskel even if I have to walk it. white horse don't be afraid I am your friend
Bueno, ¿y cuál es la, la historia del viejo expreso patagónico? ¿Cómo está sido? ¿Por cuál razón? ¿Qué significa para la gente aquí? La trochita llega acá a esta zona eh, en el año 45, se termina de inaugurar todo el ramal. Pero acá al Maitén ya en 1941 llegó, llegó la construcción de los rieles, ¿sí? desde Ingeniero Jacobasi hasta Esquel. Nosotros estamos en el medio de la ruta. Fue muy importante para el desarrollo de toda esta zona. El Maitén, en el Maitén había 150, más, 150 ferroviarios aproximadamente que trabajaban acá y ellos, todas sus familias, y alrededor de eso fue que se empezó a construir el, el Maitén, este pueblo que hoy... En to this day, the Patagonia Express survives only by tourism. The Truchita offers a glimpse into the past, where the telegraph and the steam ruled the Pampa and the Andes. This is how much it's been raining today. We're attracting ducks. We've got the lake here, and there's ducks over there. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días, amiga. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? It literally rained cats and dogs and sheep and ducks yesterday, like almost 20 hours, non-stop rain. There was a big lake here, there were ducks, wildlife, uh, taking advantage of the lake, it's like seasonal. So heading out today, there should not be more rain. And I've been kind of uh, cabin sitting for a few days, waiting for a train waiting for the train to pass and there's four of these dogs and they're all very smart because when they see you they don't bark at you they bark at their their owners so that they can see that there's somebody here right buddy who's a good dog who's a good dog you are you are The very, very good news is that uh, we actually opened it up here um, and um, it's not ideal because one of the teeth was broken, uh, but I think it should work to Patagonia. Um, there's still, still some things that I need to replace two spokes uh, when I get to a bike shop. 
um, the guys in Chile that kind of ruined my bottom bracket that put it together without spacers like there was literally this much space that was just empty and I went for lunch and I'm like yeah I can't go back there where I was living anyway so <clears throat> that still needs to be fixed and hopefully there's not too much permanent damage over there Covered wagons leaving early Got a long way to go With the men in working denim And the girls in calico Heading westward for Nebraska Lady by my side I got down on my knees to ask her She agreed to be my bride And some say the land is dry and dusty But it sure don't look that way now and I believe the rain will always follow The railroad and the plow Never had a life in the city Nothing we could call our own Someday we'll return looking pretty When our cattle and our crops have all grown Yonder I can see new horizons Soon we leave this weary trail I can hear a train in the distance I can feel those sweet drops of rain and Some say the land is dry and dusty But it sure don't look that way now And I believe the rain will always follow The railroad and the plow Come on now and kneel beside me Thank the good Lord for his grace Touch the grass and taste the water We have found the chosen place And some say the land is dry and dusty but it sure don't look that way now And I believe the rain will always follow The railroad and the plow The railroad and the plow Just like a dream, the train disappeared into the fading colors, leaving the calm night and the imposing silence of the Pampa behind. Exhausted from the wind, I sleep until the sun shines way up high into the abandoned cart. I pack up and leave the train station slowly, 
as the great Patagonian winds continue their endless journey. Step by step across the trestle bridges and greeting the telegraph birds perched along the way. Climbing up toward the pass in the morning sun, with the birds above and the cows and the guanacos. There is still a long way to go, and I wonder if my iron horse would make it all the way. Finally arrived in Askio. So here's the funny part. Actually, I wasn't planning to go to Askio, but somebody actually wrote me and they said they 
Um, they had some grandfathers from Bulgaria that settled here actually working on the railway and said I should come by and you know, have a meal, have a rest, so I'm heading here now. And I think after that I'm gonna have to hurry up down to Ushuaia because time is running low uh, for what I have planned. And there's some nice trucks here in Argentina. En alemán es sauerkraut. Mm. En alemán, no sé qué. Acá le decimos chucrut. Ay, cómo está abajo. Salud. Bienvenido a Argentina. Gracias y muchas gracias para tenerme aquí para la comida magnífica. La mejor Argentina Empanada, que yo encuentro. Sí, a los empanadas como 25 ayer. <risa> búlgaro en casa de búlgaro. Gracias. Si fuera fierro yo no tengo problema, lo suelto. Si no es...
into the middle Is it?